We're doing NFL player props here on Price Picks for Thursday Night Football, Arizona versus New Orleans. Before I get started, there's a link in the description below to sign up for Price Picks, or you can use promo code TUFF to sign up. Price Picks will match 100% of your first deposit. Um, again, there is a Discord link in the description below of this video, where the main server currently is completely free, as well as Patreon link is in the description of this video as well, where I give all the plays you're making here on Price Picks for every given sport, uh, NFL, NBA, college football, uh, MLB still as well. So multiple posts on Patreon going on every day. Check out that link in the description below. I do also want to mention I'm not a gambling expert. This is not financial advice. Simply just plays I'm personally looking at making, hopefully giving you guys some insight and analysis to make your own player props here. But Saints Cardinals here, over under is at 44. Uh, we got Marshawn Lattimore is going to be out for this game. I think both Saints wide receivers are out too. Yeah, Michael Thomas and Jarvis Landry both out for this game. Um, Mark Ingram, I guess he's going to end up playing here. Um, and then we don't know who the starting quarterback for the Saints is going to be. James Winston and Andy Dalton. Uh, it's been like kind of a toss up here. I think. Uh, Dennis Allen, the head coach of the Saints, said they're going to decide on a quarterback up until kickoff. So hopefully by the time you guys are watching this video, there's some clarity there to help you guys make some uh, decisions here on your player props. Um, there are obviously some differences in, in player props and in, in which ones I like more and things like that based on who's starting the quarterback. So again, if you're in Patreon, um, all the Patreon plays will be live by the time, well before the game starts, if, if uh, that makes sense. But uh, Marquise Brown out for the Cardinals. They do get DeAndre Hopkins back, which is extremely, extremely good news for Kyler Murray. They also added Robbie Anderson, who is expected to play in that game as well. And then um, some guys on the offensive line here, Roddy Hudson's out, just things like that. Eno Benjamin's going to be playing, I guess, and Daryl Williams is out as well. But let's get into it, you guys. Two total player props that I like here. Over-under is at 44. This game is playing in Arizona. But let's get into it. The first one I like is pass attempts, and it's going to be Kyler Murray over 34 and a half. Um, with the question marks of James Conner playing or not, he's a game-time call for Thursday. Um, but regardless, I mean, Kyler has hit this over four of five times this season, 49, 59, 32, 42, and 37 already this year for Kyler Murray. And the, the Cardinals offense really just has not gotten going. So I'm hopefully, hoping personally, like looking at this, I mean, I got Kyler Murray um, in my main money fantasy league. So I, I've been watching his games pretty closely. Um, and they just aren't executing in the red zone, I really think is what's coming down to. I mean, because they are moving the ball down the field. He's he's been doing more damage as of late on um, with his feet on the rushing the ball, but um, I think them adding DeAndre Hopkins back to this offense is going to help them a lot. Um, I think you know they are pretty much a pass first offense here. Uh, Kyler Murray does a lot of read options with the ball with James Conner or whoever's the running back, um, and then he'll end up throwing it and things like that. But 34 and a half here for Kyler Murray. Uh, I think this has a chance to get bumped up to maybe 35 and a half. But we've seen him go over this four or five times this season, um, and for quarterback pass attempts, obviously plays a big role in like the game script or the game flow of what's going on um but i like this play here i think the value is pretty good at 34 and a half so i'm gonna take the over on this one um again also just depends on game flow but deandre hopkins coming back i think will play a big part in that i think they definitely want to show that they can move the ball and throw the ball um then the other prop is going to be a fantasy score prop the like part for the saints and we're going to do marquez callaway and i like this over six and a half now i think this is the safest based on who the quarterback is going to be again at the time of me recording this video we don't know um who the quarterback for for the cardinal or for the saints is going to be in this game um but marquez callaway he's coming off a game where he caught seven three catches three of seven targets for 36 yards all right and then uh he's got one other game this season where he got three targets six of three target three of six targets for 53 yards and then he's got one touchdown here a four yard catch but i like this play because I think either way, he's going to get targets in this game with, you know, Jarvis Landry and um, Michael Thomas both being out, right? These first three games, obviously, first four games, actually, uh, Michael Thomas and Jarvis Landry were, you know, playing these games. So we're looking at 16 targets since uh, Michael Thomas has been out, um, which bodes well for Marquez Callaway. And, I mean, one, he's gotten these targets with Andy Dalton, right? He got seven targets, three catches for 36 yards with Andy Dalton, and he does have, you know, some uh, familiarity with James Winston. Here's his game log with James Winston. He's had some success so far. I mean, they definitely have a fami familiarity with each other. Um, but at six and a half fantasy score, it just seems too low for me, in my opinion. Again, just keep in mind that there is some volatility with this play only because we do not know if, you know, who the quarterback is going to be. So make sure you guys keep that in mind. But at current time, um, I think there's some good value here with Marquez Calloway. So, Again, these are the two total player props. Um, again, I do so, ooh, also want to mention this one as well. I normally don't give three, but I do also like Alvin Kamara at four receptions. 
Um, you know, coming off back-to-back games of six receptions each. I think if Andy Dalton's at the quarterback, this is a smash play. It wasn't getting targeted as much with Jameis, so make sure you guys keep that in mind again. A little bit of volatility here, but I got to get this video out um, tonight or as soon as possible. So again, keep that in mind if you're watching this video. I do apologize. But again, let me know in the comments below. Um, hit that subscribe button, you guys. Drop a like on this video, and as always, let's cash.